Hey everybody, HD Shaves here. I'm back with another video. Um, today, only have one new product to um, show you. And I guess I'll start actually with the stuff that you have already seen because I won't have as much to say about that um, since we've kind of already talked about it. Um, first up, this little synthetic Timberwolf knot, um, 26 millimeter in this chubby style acrylic handle. This was my favorite brush of 2019 and I haven't used it since last calendar year, I believe. And so uh, I've been using it the past few days and I remember why I like it so much. Just really easy to use, soft, soft tips, good enough backbone for me. And um, yeah, so that's the brush for today. Next up, the razor is this third generation British Gillette Aristocrat Junior. Um, I used this a few shaves ago and um, decided to come back to it this week because I also picked up a full uh, British aristocrat, which is rhodium plated. And I was sort of testing them out this week, seeing which one I preferred to shave with more. And I actually liked using the junior more. So this is nickel plated brass. And for some reason, the nickel felt better to me than the rhodium. So I'm continuing with this again. And inside of it is a Indian Gillette Wilkinson sword blade, which um, for some reason I always use those blades when I'm using a vintage Gillette. So I figured why not continue it? That's been doing pretty well for me. Finally, the sort of new um, soap to the channel is Decoration Grooming, formerly known as L&L Grooming After the Rain. So if I'm not mistaken, this was one of the very first uh, scents that Scott made when he opened up l, &L Grooming. And uh, this was one of the first declaration soaps that I ever got um, many, many months ago. Well, not many months ago, but uh, maybe five months ago, I got this tub. And I decided to start using it again this week because it's got that ring of death going and I wanna try and kill this tub off. Um, so yeah, I, there's quite a bit still left in there, even though some people would maybe stop using it at this point. But um, regarding the soap itself, it's a blend of pine, cedar, and lavender for the scent notes. And this is the old uh, bison tallow uh, formula, which is perfectly serviceable and was one of the best uh, artisan soap bases on the market. Um, you know, and I would say it still is. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this formula. So as the label says here, bison tallow, lanolin, botanicals. So if you're sensitive to lanolin, this might not be for you, but some of the botanicals that he includes, sea buckthorn, fruit extract, white willow bark extract, grapeseed extract, um, mango seed butter, there's castor oil, a um, little bit of glycerin, avocado oil. So just packed with all kinds of uh, good shaving soap goodies. So we'll be using that today. And um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna get into the lathering process now. I'm gonna wet my face and uh, be right back. Loaded for a good bit here on this Timberwolf knot. Wanted to make sure I got plenty of soap and also trying to kick this soap to the curb anyway. So why not overload a little bit? Uh, added a little bit of water to the puck as I was loading. And uh, yeah, let's go into a face lather and see how this does. All right, we're gonna roll with this. Uh, bison, the bison base has such a nice creamy quality to it when it's uh, properly hydrated. And um, yeah, it's looking good. So I'm gonna start first pass with the grain here after I warm up the razor.
nice first pass there. Great slickness from this base and uh, couldn't even really feel the blade inside here. So um, gonna rinse and load up for pass number two. Second pass, cross grain. Nice second pass. Uh, Razor was just gliding so, so easily. Um, like it felt like you would just move it this much and then it would go right across the face, which is fantastic. So um, yeah, feeling pretty good actually here after pass two, but as usual, why not go for the third pass, right? So I'm gonna rinse and then go for the third pass. Final pass against the grain. All right, final pass complete. Had to do a little touch up under the chin. I usually do, not a big deal. And uh, everything's feeling good. So I'm gonna rinse and then uh, come back and talk to you over some post shave. All right, nice shave today. Um, skin feels very nice in terms of the post shave. Um, not any tightness or irritation. Did get a little weeper right here. Got a little too excited with my buffing there across the mustache area. But otherwise, very good, very, very nice shave. Um, today, going back to also one of my favorites, or my favorite from 2019, 
the Zangari Man Unscented Aftershave Balm. Um, this is um, not her newest unscented balm, which is in the um, Sego base. So she, um, for that balm, she put actually tallow into it. So it's even thicker for, um, you know, dry winter climate, which a lot of us are experiencing right now. Um, this not, I mean, this regular balm works very, very well for me. And, um, yeah, I, uh, maybe once I finish this one, I'll upgrade and get the Sago, but, um, just all kinds of skin food in this and, uh, it is absorbed so easily. Only have to use one, uh, pump out of the bottle and, uh, just leaves the face with a beautiful matte finish. Um, so yeah, final review. Um, <laughs> Decoration Grooming, After the Rain. A beautiful, um, let's do it this way. A beautiful woodsy uh, kind of scent, but, the, but there is a lot of lavender in it. It's supposed to smell like you're in a forest after the rain, as the title would suggest. You can still get that in Milk Steak, Scott's newest formula. So be on the lookout for that. Or you can get the bison tubs on the yeast market fairly easily. Um, this British aristocrat junior, I uh, want to shout out my friend again, who sort of accidentally gave this to me as a gift. Uh, we had worked out a trade and he was supposed to send me a tub of Southern witchcraft soap, but instead he sent me this razor. And I was like, dude, that's not what you're supposed to send me. And he said, oh, well, that's a pretty good razor. You should try it. And I'm glad I did. Uh, this is definitely my favorite vintage uh, razor that I've tried so far. And then finally, this little Timberwolf knot um, just works really well for me. You know, um, I do like the face feel of a badger and boar too, um, but just for me, uh, nothing builds a lather like a good synthetic knot does. And so, um, yeah, I'm happy to come back to this. Again, it's one of my favorite um, items of 2019. So with that, uh, I think we're all done for today. Um, thank you so much for watching as usual, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks.